Chris, now on a story you saw first on Eyewitness News, the daycare of a Providence nonprofit chaired by State Representative Anastasia Williams will be allowed to stay open for now. As we first reported yesterday, the DCYF had revoked the John Hope Settlement House's child care license because it employed a worker who was barred from the child welfare agency. But today, a judge temporarily blocked the closure until the dispute plays out in court. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Jared. Mike, the judge issued the state today saying he does not believe there's an imminent threat to the children's health and well-being. Neither do the three parents and grandparents we spoke to today. Suzette Cook has two granddaughters in daycare at Providence's John Hope Settlement House. They love it here. Today, a judge issued a stay keeping the daycare from closing March 3rd. DCYF told the nonprofit its license would be revoked after it found a daycare employee who'd been disqualified by the state had been working there. Eyewitness News went with Suzette Cook as she collected signatures despite the stay. John Hope has done so much for the community, for the children. You know, where are they going to go? What are they going to have? Cook says John Hope is critical to families who need a hand up. You're stripping them of that to put them back into the same position that they were in before so that they can go over here to social services to say that I need help for them to tell them that they can't help them. Something's not right with that picture. State Representative Anastasia Williams chairs John Hope. We have done absolutely nothing wrong and we believe that we will prevail. There have been some slip ups here and there, but it's not only on the fault or the side of the agency. DCYF says it also found that another employee did not have proper background check documentation in their file. DCYF wrote in an October letter, quote, about ongoing regulatory violations that continuously jeopardize the health and safety of children in your care. That was directed to John Hope. And DCYF, in a statement responding to the judge's stay today, said it will continue monitoring for children's health and safety while this case is pending. Outside Superior Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.